Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are opening Paldean Fates, two elite trainer boxes from the Pokemon Center. It's Paldean Fates release weekend and not many people are excited about this site set. Um, but I am because there are some reprints that I'm looking for to put into my competitive decks and there's some new cards that have some nice art which I am looking forward to pulling so we'll see if we can get some of those and we'll see how we do on two uh, ETBs here. So I'll flip through some of the player's guide here. Um, you can see here, they usually take photos of all the cards you can pull. Um, the main base set, I think most people overlook because um, you can pull those fairly easily. But starting from here, page 24, you can see all the shinies. So you can see Oddish here, Gloom, Vile Plume, Smolev. Uh, you got the Charmander, Charmeleon, Slowpoke, Slowbro, uh, Voltorb, and Electrode. Although those look pretty close to, I would say, the Hidden Fates versions. Got the Pikachu, which is obviously a fan favorite. Lucario, Annihilate, um, you got the Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Jigglypuff, Snorlax, Ditto, and Pink Lechonk. So I have my Lechonk plush out and hopefully that will bring us some good luck. These are the the very fancy pages, so you have the Gardevoir EX, Charizard, and the Mew. Those are your top hits. And then, of course, the trainer favorite, Iono. Uh, I did go play some league tournaments just a week prior to the set coming out. And I thought it would be smart to trade in my... Iono Trainers from Haldane Fates, given that it is being reprinted here. And I'll see how that turns out as a money decision. Uh, if it doesn't work out, well, I guess it was a small gamble. Here is the Mimikyu promo with Pokemon Center logo. Got a brick of energy and then the regular Mimikyu. So we'll put that next to Lechonk. DPB sleeves. And then we got 11 packs. So let's see how our first ETB does. And then most likely, I'll open the second one too. Um, I'm not really interested in keeping sealed anymore, so if I'm buying now, I'm gonna be ripping. And I think if it goes up in value, well, so be it. I had the fun while it lasted. And I don't really want too much clutter in my room, so. I'm opening cards for the fun of it and not so much thinking about potential value that some of the sealed stuff can bring. So first box here, and we start off with a Starmie. Starmie Baby Shiny. I'll put that up here. Maractus Reverse. Oh, and a Executor. This art is by Ikigami, I would say. It's pretty nice hollow, actually. 
given that it's just a regular hollow rare. I find when the community in general, or let's just say the internet community, when they're not so hot on a set, um, you know, they, their minds can be changed over time. And I think given how the set looks like to me, I think this does have some potential. Charmander here, wear a candy, that's a common now. I think in Pokemon Go it's uncommon, but here it is in a common form. Barbroach, another Dawn fan. Why do my packs seem kind of similar here? Grab a lot. Oh, reverse Charmander. That might go nicely in my deck. Ghastly. And Golden Go. So nothing really in that pack. And even if the community isn't so hot on the product in general, it does still give you some opportunity to open some new product. I think um, you know, even if a set is good and you're opening the same packs over and over again, you see the same commons and uncommons over and over again and there's a bit of boredom with that. Here, at least I get to see some new art and there's hope for getting some of the new uh, chase cards. So give me gold. This is a Oinkaloin, which is the evolved form of Lechonk. Greenlit Hill, Camrat, Lechonk, Ralts, and a Cyrillage. So nothing again here. Uh, box is starting off weak, I've got to say. I'm not really one to have good luck, but you can always hope, right? It can be 10 bad packs, and then that last pack hits and really changes your mind. Varum, Mankey, Magmar, Mona, another Moonlit Hill, Camera, Atticus. And here we are, an another baby shiny here, uh, Flittle, which I'm not familiar with. And we've got a double hit here, Palafin. This is one of the few illustration rares. And it does look pretty badass. Like it's hard to tell the dark background, but it looks like it's a uh, mean looking Pokemon standing on some reefs. Professor's research and an energy. So Starmy, Flittle, and a Palafin so far. Let's keep the hits coming. I think uh, it being a Scarlet and Violet set, hit rate is supposed to be high, and according to early TCG player stats, it looks like it's a 44% hit rate chance. There's a Okacheke Pikachu, Graveyard, Ultra Ball. Swoobat. Clive. Mischief. Mime Jr. and Squawkabilly. That's a decent card to play with, so I don't mind that. But I haven't checked since Paldean Fates have come out, but I would gotta I gotta think that many of these cards are probably dipping given that this is release weekend and everyone is Cracking packs, looking for those three. The Iono, Mew, and, well, four. Charizard and Gardevoir. 
Swobat, Clive, Oinkaloin, Professor's Research, Dedene, and a Fortress EX. I think this is a reprint. But you can see this is a EX. It's got a little bit of texture. And that is considered a hit. Real heavy hitters here yet. Two reprints and well, the baby shinies. Hoping to get a Snorlax or a Pikachu. I think the Ditto I'm, I'd be pretty happy with too, but me being a older fan, it's always the, the 151 that hits that nostalgia. Whooper. Teddy Isthmus Primate. Whimsicott. Crafty, Goldingo, Mousehold, and Mimikyu. So a bit of a dud there. And you know, I think it's a good time to mention 151. That is uh, another special set that very recently released. Um, haven't got all my, my full set yet, but still looking. I'm hoping to get some good deals and just slowly build on that, but many at the end of the set that I'm still looking for. Another Scrafty, Ultra Ball. Ooh, baby Shiny Flamingo. Got a camera. And a Meg Mortar. So, the last three packs here for box number one. Chimichu, Ghastly, Caldean Student, Fido, Electric Generator, I'm trying to build my um, Maridon deck, Mousehold, Lantern, oh, and it looks like something's textured here, Totus Scroll. So my first full art hit here. Um, can't say I'm too happy about it, but here's another hit here. Crisis Punch and a Zatu. That's a shiny version, so pink colored. I think the normal one is a blue. I always like the shinies that are different colors. Like when you change the shade of the shiny version, it doesn't seem to add too much to how it looks. It's nice, but I like it when it's a completely different color scheme. Fido, Haunter, Cottony, Mousehold, Lantern, Primeape, Heat Rotom, Ooh, and here it is, first illustration rare. It's the Penny, and you can see her holding her Eevee backpack, and big Pokeball right in the center. Pretty nice. Can't be mad at this pull. And a Mabustiff. So the last pack of this box, and then we move to our second one here. This is, uh, we're at eight hits here, so I'm not sure what the rate is per 11 packs, but seems pretty good. 
fridge packs. Dedene, Noibat, Crisis Punch, Dash One, and Gengar. This Gengar is nice, even though it's an uncommon. Charmeleon Reverse, Rever of Room, and a Cyclozar. So yeah, 11 packs, 8 hits, I think uh, can't complain too much here. So to review, it's a Starmie, Flittle, Palafin, Illustration Rare, Squawkabilly, a Fortress, Flamigo, Totoscrew, Full Art, and a Penny Illustration Rare. So last box here, before we conclude the opening, open here so, nice smell of plastic or glue whatever it is that Pokemon packages with here so in the box uh, we'll skip having a really close look at the promo since we've already seen it. So here we are, the two VMQ promos. And then I'll just pull out the 11 packs here and continue the opening. I will say the, the opening experience is pretty easy here. The packs aren't really stuck together, so it lets me keep the condition of the wrappers here. Pikachu, Graveyard, Chincho, Wubat, Mousehold, Moonlit Hill, Charmeleon, Kilowattral, Magmar, and research. Okay. Not much there. There's pack two. We got Ralts. Toad School. Wubat, Fanfi, ooh, Iono, very nice, Kilowattro, Curlia, and then Entei, nice, that's one of the legendary dogs, so I imagine that's a, has some value, Amarouge, and a Energy. To Suicune and uh, Raikou. Are they baby shines in this set? Or is it just this dog that gets the shiny treatment this time around? I think Shining Fates had the Suicune. So if it continues that theme, does that mean the next set has the Raikou? We, we shall see in due time. Flittle. Life, Primeape, Ultra Ball, Nimona's Backpack, Toad School, and Clive, Full Art. I don't mind that, I like Full Art Triners. I think this was a gym leader. Or no, he's not a gym leader. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly. Uh, but it looks like he's posing next to a tree here. It's 
still getting through my Scarlet and Violet uh, era game here. I'm playing Violet and I just beat Grusha, which is the Snow Leader. Um, but I think I have at least uh, halfway through the game still. Lechonk, this buddy here. Execute, Ghastly, Donfang, Nestball. Grappaloft, Ulu, Squawkabilly, EX, Shiny, Natu, and a Golden Go. So this box already starting off a little hotter than the, the first one here. I think uh, all the hits are already uh, ones that are a bit more desirable for me, but we still have about half the box here. So let's see. Paldean Student, Common, Fido, Haunter, Natu, Nesbolo. Lantern, Oinkoin, Luge, Scraggy, Raichu, and Energy. So Paldean Fates is a Staggered release. Um, we got ETBs and the sticker collections that came out first. And some of the other products will come out a little later. So. I think everyone's clamoring to wait for some of the, the ones at the starters where they're guaranteed those promos. There's a nice um, three card frame that comes with those. So I might get one of those just to see what the frame is like. Uh, with the latest Charizard EX premium box, they did come with a nice display and magnetic holder, which is a nice change from the usual I guess extras that you get with the box. Um, once you've been collecting for a while, some of the box stuff starts to get repetitive and you accumulate all this stuff that you don't really have use for. So now that we have some new ways to display cards, um, that'll continue me uh, purchasing some of these new products. Grab a lot. Mona's Backpack, Kilowattro, Lantern, Flittle, Executor. So after the hot start, we're starting to cool off here. I'm really wondering if this Kilowattro will be useful to take the United Wings deck over the top. It's uh, funny how we have the regular uncommon and the shiny version up in center on the screen right now. But it did give me some of that thought when I, I did see the card list come out. Paldean Student, Swubat. Here's Clive next to a building now, instead of a tree, Oinkoin, Primate, Execute, and Iron Treads. Okay. Iron Treads is a new age Dawn fan, I guess. But I feel like the names can be a bit more creative. 
Mankey, Flittle, Pikachu, Okacheke, Gravard, Moonlit Hill, Donphan, Atticus, Fanfi, Gimme Bowl, Serluge. Two more packs. Ooh, only five hits in this box. I guess the eight kind of spoiled me. I thought I would get somewhere close to eight again, but it's starting to not look like that right now. Tadismus, Barbroach, New Mill, Maractus, Dash One, Dash One is here, that's an uncommon, Mouse Hold, Ultra Ball, Mimikyu, Winkloin, and, ooh, a Charizard. The EX, this is what I play as a deck. Pretty nice, good condition. Oh, a bit of a nick at the top, but happy with this as a Charizard deck player. And last pack here. Let's see how the luck goes. Last pack magic, as they would say. Illustration rare, but I guess even one out of them each out of two ETBs is probably considered okay luck. So Haunter, Natu, Wooper, Tedismus, Charmeleon, Oinkaloin, Camrupt, Garganical. It's a baby shiny, grapple off reverse, and a heat rotom. So, decent, I guess, okay pulls. Um, we got the penny illustration rare. Uh, we got a few playable squawkabillies, full art trainer, the entai. So, can't complain. A great Paldane Fates opening weekend, and we'll see how the pulls work in our favor in the future. Um, no new set until March with Temporal Forces, so we'll see you next time.